Thank you for joining us and welcome to GTC. I'm Will Ramey, Director of Developer Programs here at NVIDIA. We hope you'll find GTC informative and inspiring to your work and that you'll take advantage of the many opportunities to connect with others during the event. Over the next hour, I'm going to share a high-level, lightly technical introduction to some powerful data science techniques, including deep learning, that will help you understand what is deep learning and how it's related to accelerated data science, examples of what deep learning is good for and why it's such a powerful technology, how deep neural networks are trained, optimized, and deployed in applications, and the challenges many organizations face when getting started with deep learning. At the end, we'll wrap up with some recommendations to help you use deep learning in your own applications. If you're joining us live, we have a team of NVIDIA solution architects, data scientists, and engineers helping me answer your questions on the chat console. So ask away. Data science is a broad field that covers everything related to data cleansing, preparation, and analysis. It involves statistics, mathematics, programming, and creative problem solving to extract information and insights from data. When GPU acceleration is used to improve the performance of data science workflows, we call this accelerated data science. Data analytics, machine learning, and deep learning are widely used approaches to solving problems in the field of data science. Data analytics has been around for a long time. It's used to examine data sets in order to draw conclusions about the information they contain using correlation, statistical modeling, and other methods. Machine learning uses statistics techniques to construct a model from observed data. It generally relies on human-defined classifiers or feature extractors that can be as simple as a linear regression or the slightly more complicated bag of words technique that made some of the first email spam filters possible. This was really handy 20 plus years ago when lots of uninvited email started showing up in your inbox and continues to be a popular approach to solving many data science challenges. Then we invented smartphones, webcams, social media services, and all kinds of sensors that generate huge mountains of data and the new challenge of identifying the many features in the data and the correlations between them that actually matter. Deep learning is a machine learning technique that automates the creation of these feature extractors, a process we call feature engineering, using large amounts of data to train complex deep neural networks, or DNNs. DNNs are capable of achieving human level accuracy for many tasks, but require huge data sets and tremendous computational power to train. Several years ago, researchers started applying DNNs in a variety of areas and reporting amazing results. We'll dig deeper into deep learning in a few minutes, but first, let's take a look at how deep learning fits in the broader context of GPU accelerated data science with a few examples. Many companies, organizations, and even governments are realizing that accelerated data science can help them be more effective and more efficient. Here you can see a partial list of the industries and use cases where GPU accelerated data science can have a big impact. In healthcare, for example, accelerated data science can be used to better predict disease drivers with genomic medicine, improve health outcomes through analysis of electronic medical records, and predict the best care or treatment for a wide range of health conditions. Energy and utilities companies can use accelerated data science to optimize energy distribution in smart grids and reduce outages with predictive maintenance. Microsoft's AI translator service, which underpins Skype and other services, now performs instant translation of conversations across over 80 languages. If you haven't tried this yet, it's a really amazing way to connect and communicate with people across language barriers. Enterprises, large and small, can use accelerated data science to analyze customer data for new product development, monitor the security of their IT systems and physical facilities, and implement reports that reveal deeper insights for business decision makers. A McKinsey survey last year found the majority of companies that have adopted AI report that it has provided an uptick in revenue in the business areas where it was used, and about 40% say AI has reduced costs. So how do you know which approach to data science will work best for the problems you're trying to solve? 
The answer often lies in the types and quantity of data you have to work with. If the problem you're working on is well-defined or straightforward enough that you don't need machine learning or deep learning, then more direct analytics methods like XGBoost, PageRank, similarity analysis, or single source shortest path can deliver good results with minimal effort. If you're working on these types of projects, I highly recommend checking out the Rapids open source platform, which provides accelerated implementations of many data science algorithms in Python. If you need a more sophisticated approach, your data is organized into a table or sparsely populated data structure, and you know what the important features are, then machine learning techniques like regression analysis and decision trees will generally work well. And if you have a big collection of images, videos, audio recordings, log files, or other dense data, and don't know or have time to figure out what the distinguishing characteristics of each class are, Deep learning is likely a good approach. Often, the best solution is a combination of multiple approaches, with the output of one feeding into the next until you achieve the desired result. And regardless of the approach you take, the amount of data that needs to be processed is only increasing. McKinsey recently estimated that over two exabytes of data are created each day, and research firm IDC reports that big data and business analytics will generate over $274 billion annually by 2022. In fact, 90% of the data in the world today was generated just in the last two years. It turns out that deep learning is stunningly effective across many domains, and it's transforming the way computers achieve perceptual tasks, such as computer vision, pattern detection, speech recognition, and behavior prediction. Some observers, including Bloomberg and the World Economic Forum, have referred to it as the fourth industrial revolution. And Andrew Eng, a widely respected Stanford University professor, co-founder of the Google Brain Project and co-founder of the Coursera online education platform, believes that the deep learning approach to AI is, quote, the new electricity, stating that just as 100 years ago, electricity transformed industry after industry, AI will now do the same. Many people want to know why and how deep learning is being adopted so rapidly. There were three key ingredients, or you might think of them as the initial conditions, that made the Big Bang of modern AI possible. First was big data, the huge collections of examples from which computers can learn. Second, researchers needed to develop parallel algorithms that allow data scientists to design and train deep neural networks to process the mountains of big data. And third was the introduction of programmable GPU accelerators that make it possible for researchers to implement their algorithms on a flexible platform and complete the massive amounts of computation required in a practical amount of time. Early researchers published their algorithms and neural network models in research papers and scientific journals, but they also released the software they created, packaged up in high-level open source frameworks so others could build on top of their work instead of starting from scratch. And all the major deep learning frameworks support GPU acceleration because it just wasn't practical to do this computationally intense work without GPUs. Cloud platform providers recognize the potential of deep learning to improve their own services and the business opportunity of offering GPU accelerated deep learning platforms in the cloud. Now, all the major cloud service providers make GPUs available to their customers. This significantly reduced the capital costs and time investment for startups, which motivated a huge influx of venture funding for deep learning startups. In early 2017, there were about 1,000 AI startups and about $5 billion in funding to fuel them. Now, just a few years later, there are more than 12,000 startups with over $150 billion in funding. And research firm Tractica has projected a $500 billion opportunity through 2025. Large companies, governments, and other organizations, influenced by the impressive achievements of startups and researchers, are rapidly adopting this new technology, 
seeing it as a competitive advantage or a potential threat if they fail to effectively master it. It can be helpful to think about deep learning as a way to map data samples from an input domain to an output domain. The input domain can be text data, such as log files or financial data, images of pretty much anything, audio or other signals, or video streams, which are really just a sequence of images with synchronized audio. It can even be three-dimensional images or data sets collected from medical imaging devices, geophysical analyses, cosmological models, or molecular dynamics simulations. The output domain is determined by the question you want to ask of the input data, and the question itself indicates the type of deep learning task you need to perform in order to map the input domain to the output domain. This table shows a sampling of use cases where deep learning can be applied in healthcare, retail, and manufacturing. For example, if the question requires a yes or no answer telling you whether something is present, the task is detection. If the question requires an answer describing what types of things are in each input, the task is classification. If the question requires dividing an image, volume, or other data into discrete parts, the task is segmentation, and so on. Depending on the application, you may need to use a combination of tasks to achieve more sophisticated outputs. For example, to automatically label all the faces in your family photos, you'd need to first detect whether and where there are faces in the picture, and then apply facial recognition, which is a form of classification, to determine the name for each face. And for automatic language translation, you could first convert speech to text using classification, followed by translation of text in one language to text in another language using prediction, and then apply speech synthesis, which is another form of prediction. Different types of deep learning tasks require different model architectures. Here you can see a variety of representative deep neural network models that have been simplified to highlight their differences. Convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, are the workhorse for analyzing 2D and 3D images and video, including classification, prediction, and segmentation tasks. CNNs can also be used for regression problems like predicting a continuous variable, such as price, as a function of various factors. CNNs have also been popular for some types of sequence analysis, like the WaveNet voice synthesis work by Google's DeepMind researchers. Recurrent neural networks, or RNNs, have been shown to work well on many types of sequences, including natural language processing tasks such as sentiment analysis, speech recognition, machine translation, handwriting and gesture recognition, and time series forecasting. Generative adversarial networks, or GANs, are actually two deep neural networks competing with each other to generate images, or other results, that are incredibly realistic. This technique has been used to create images of environments, people, shoes, clothing, and other products, as well as automatically constructing 3D models from 2D images. GANs have also been used to perform image up-resolution, drug molecule design, and generate many answers to the same question. Reinforcement learning is used to automatically determine the ideal behavior or decision within a specific context. Examples include optimizing resource management in computer clusters, teaching robots to perform complex tasks, and personalized recommendations. New species of deep neural network models continue to emerge as researchers explore new ideas and solve larger, more complex problems. Let's take a look at how deep learning actually works in practice. Say you want to automatically identify various types of animals, which is a classification task. The first step is to assemble a collection of example images to be used as a training dataset, which will serve as the experience from which a deep neural network will learn. To ensure the training dataset is representative of all the pictures of cats and dogs that exist in the world, it must include a wide range of species, poses, and environments in which cats and dogs may be observed. 
If you only need to classify cats versus dogs, then you only need to have cat images and dog images in the training dataset. In this case, you'll need several thousand images, each with a label indicating whether it's a cat image or a dog image. The next thing you need is a deep neural network model. In this example, we'll start with an untrained model that is designed to be used for image classification. If we wanted to implement a different task, like detection or segmentation or prediction, or use a different type of input data, like text or audio, we would use a model that is designed for that particular task. Here you can see a very simple model of an untrained neural network. At the top of the model, there is a row or layer that has four input nodes, and at the bottom, there's a layer that has two output nodes. Between the input layer and the output layer are a few so-called hidden layers, with several nodes each. The white lines show which nodes in the input layer share their results with the nodes in the first hidden layer, and so on, all the way down to the output layer. You may hear the nodes referred to as artificial neurons or perceptrons, since their simple behavior is inspired by the neurons in the human brain. A real deep neural network model would have many hidden layers between the input layer and the output layer, which is why they're called deep. But a simplified representation works fine for this example. Just keep in mind that the design of the neural network model is what makes it suitable for a particular task. For example, the best models for image classification are very different from the best models for speech recognition. And the differences can include the number of layers, the number of nodes in each layer, the algorithms performed in each node, and how the nodes in one layer are connected to the nodes in the next layer. It's worth noting that there are many readily available pre-trained deep neural network models for image classification, object recognition, image segmentation, and several other tasks but it's often necessary to modify and retrain these models to achieve high levels of accuracy for a particular data set or use case. And the amount of computation required to train and validate each version of the model is multiplied by the number of model variations that need to be evaluated. All of this processing requires a tremendous amount of computation, much of which can be performed in parallel, which makes deep learning an ideal workload for GPUs to accelerate. So, if the goal is to train a deep neural network to distinguish cats versus dogs, you would use a neural network model that is designed to be good at image classification. Once you have assembled a training data set and selected a neural network model, a deep learning framework such as PyTorch or TensorFlow is used to feed the training data set through the neural network. For each image that is processed through the neural network, each node in the output layer reports a number that indicates how confident it is that the image is a cat or a dog. In this case, there are only two options, so the model needs just two nodes in the output layer, one for cats and one for dogs. The deep learning framework then looks at the label you provided for the image to determine whether the neural network guessed or inferred the correct answer. If it inferred correctly, the framework strengthens the weights of the connections that contributed to getting the correct answer. And vice versa, if the neural network inferred the incorrect result, the framework reduces the weights of the connections that contributed to getting the wrong answer. After processing the entire training data set once, the neural network will generally have enough experience to infer the correct answer a little more than half of the time slightly better than a random coin toss. And it will require several additional rounds or epochs of processing the entire training data set to achieve higher levels of accuracy. There are many deep learning frameworks to choose from, each with its own set of strengths, programming language interfaces, etc. But they're all GPU accelerated using the CUDA Deep Neural Networks Library, or CUDNN and other libraries in the NVIDIA Deep Learning SDK. You can learn more about all the deep learning frameworks and the NVIDIA Deep Learning SDK on our developer website at developer.nvidia.com. So now that the model has been trained on a large representative data set, it's very good at distinguishing between cats and dogs. But if you showed it a picture of a raccoon, it would be very confused since it has no previous experience with raccoons and would probably report a low confidence number for both cat and dog. 
If you actually needed the ability to classify raccoons as well as cats and dogs, you would simply modify the design topology of the model to add a third node to the output layer, expand the training data set to include thousands of representative images of raccoons, and use the deep learning framework to retrain your model. There's no need to manually write custom algorithms to distinguish between different types of animals and figure out how to make them all work together. Just modify your model topology a bit and retrain the model with your expanded data set. When my son was very young and just starting to talk, he was fascinated by all the vehicles passing down the street in front of our home. He would stand there and pound on the window yelling, tuck daddy, tuck, every time someone drove past. And I, being a proud father, would gently correct him, saying, no, that one's a car, or encourage him when he got it right. Yeah, that's a truck. Good job. In this way, he quickly learned to distinguish between cars, trucks, buses, and motorcycles. While he was learning, I could almost see the little gears turning in his head as he worked hard at learning how to tell the difference between all the different types of vehicles. But just a few days later, he had mastered this skill, and it required almost no effort at all. The process of training a deep neural network model is similar to the way we humans learn tasks like this. Once the model has been trained, much of the generalized flexibility that was necessary during the training process is no longer needed, so it's possible to optimize the model for significantly faster runtime performance. Common optimizations include pruning nodes that do not contribute significantly to the results, fusing layers to reduce memory and communication overhead, and other techniques supported in the NVIDIA TensorRT runtime. The fully trained and optimized model is then ready to be integrated into an application that will feed it new data, in this case images of cats and dogs that it hasn't seen before and it will be able to quickly and accurately infer the correct answer based on its training. And your application can be deployed on a GPU accelerated platform in your data center, in the cloud, on a local workstation, in a robot, a smart camera, or even a self-driving car. There are a few challenges that organizations and researchers may encounter when adopting deep learning. The first is that this is still a relatively new computing model Many data scientists, developers, and researchers don't have a lot of experience working with it yet. And to apply deep learning effectively, you need to learn how to approach problems a little differently from a more data-centric perspective. Another challenge is that the algorithms used for deep learning continue to evolve and improve very rapidly. So keeping up with all the latest advances that may benefit your work can require significant time and effort. And as you saw earlier, Training deep neural networks is tremendously computationally intensive, so you need to plan your projects to take advantage of high-performance computing platforms that can process large amounts of data quickly. And an important consideration is that once you have a trained neural network, it's really flexible. You could be planning to deploy it in a cloud-based web service for low-latency speech recognition or e-commerce recommendations, a powerful workstation for medical imaging diagnoses, a safe and reliable self-driving car, smart cameras for intelligent video analytics, and more. And you need a wide range of GPU-accelerated deployment platforms to benefit from this flexibility. Let's take a look at some of the things NVIDIA is doing to help you turn these challenges into opportunities. One of the most valuable things you can do is join the free NVIDIA developer program. Through the developer program, you can take advantage of over 100 SDKs and performance analysis tools to accelerate your work in deep learning, accelerated computing, and graphics and simulation across application domains such as autonomous machines, healthcare, product design, retail and financial services, game development, and virtual reality. You'll benefit from thousands of educational resources, including online tutorials, how-to blogs with sample code, hands-on training offered by the Deep Learning Institute, and access to on-demand presentations in which NVIDIA experts, famous researchers, and leading companies have shared their experience over the years. As a member, you'll get access to the tools and training you need to successfully master deep learning, 
as well as a global community of over two and a half million like-minded developers, researchers, and data scientists. You can sign up for free today at developer.nvidia.com join. To help data scientists and software engineers quickly ramp up on deep learning, the NVIDIA Deep Learning Institute offers hands-on training that gives you the experience you need to solve challenging problems using deep learning. The Deep Learning Institute, or DLI, delivers project-based hands-on training through online courses and live workshops presented by DLI-certified instructors. We do this by giving each student a GPU-accelerated deep learning development environment in the cloud so you can learn how to use all the latest open source deep learning frameworks, tools, and more without having to set up your own system from scratch. All the major cloud service providers offer GPU accelerated systems, so we just use some of them to provide hands-on training that helps you get started quickly with deep learning from anywhere in the world. And of course, the training covers not only the image classification workflow that we talked about today, but also application domains such as intelligent video analytics, accelerated data science and data engineering, recommender systems, predictive maintenance, anomaly detection, robotics, autonomous vehicles, healthcare, networking, and more. We've announced several new courses recently, including some that cover topics like conversational AI, transformer-based natural language processing, and a course designed to help IT professionals learn how to deploy and manage AI workloads in the data center. We've trained over 280,000 people worldwide so far, and we're scaling up to meet the increasing demand. One of the best places to learn everything you need to know about deep learning is NVIDIA's series of GPU technology conferences, or GTC. During the GTC online event this week, over 100,000 developers, researchers, data scientists, and industry leaders will join us to see the amazing work being done with AI and other NVIDIA-accelerated technologies across a wide range of application domains. Meet the experts and innovators who are leading the rapid evolution of deep learning, and learn how to apply this powerful technology to improving their own work. Many of the over 1,400 sessions will be focused on AI and deep learning. During the event, you'll hear from experts representing a wide range of industries, as well as academic and government organizations, sharing their work on applications in healthcare, automotive, telecommunications, media and entertainment, financial services, retail, manufacturing, and more. In addition to industry leaders like Yashua Bengio, Jan LeCun, Jeff Hinton, Alvi Ray Smith, and Jürgen Schmidhuber, you'll hear from speakers representing NVIDIA, Amazon, PayPal, Microsoft, Verizon, IBM, Morgan Stanley, LinkedIn, Audi, Bayer, Johnson & Johnson, Wells Fargo, Stanford University, Alibaba, and Walmart, and more. GTC is really the only place where you can connect one-on-one -on -one with so many experts and innovators focused on the latest advances in technologies that are changing the world. A great resource for startups is Inception, NVIDIA's virtual accelerator program focused on supporting young AI companies with the resources they need at various stages in their journey. The Inception program helps startups make technical and commercial progress on creating their product or service and building their business without requiring any equity in exchange. The main benefits of the program are AI expertise and technology assistance in the form of training from the Deep Learning Institute and one-on-one -on -one guidance from NVIDIA solution engineers. Access to NVIDIA technology through a discount program for development hardware and partnerships with cloud service providers that provide up to $100,000 in credits for startups building applications at scale with GPU servers and go-to-market support and the opportunity to leverage NVIDIA's relationships with the venture capital ecosystem. Today, over 7,500 Inception startups span the globe with strong representation in the Americas, Europe, and Asia Pacific, and they operate across industries ranging from AI platforms and tools to healthcare, to financial services, retail, robotics, and agriculture. Our focus is on supporting a global community of innovators that will deliver on the tremendous promise of AI.
NVIDIA also invests heavily in software you can use to quickly build your own deep learning solutions. Our dedicated engineering teams work closely with all the leading deep learning framework developers to ensure they have support for the latest GPU accelerated algorithms via the NVIDIA Deep Learning SDK and CUDA, which has been downloaded more than six and a half million times in the last year alone. So regardless of which open source deep learning framework you choose to train your deep neural network models, you don't have to be a GPU programmer to take advantage of built-in support for GPU acceleration. Building on this work, we also provide high-level software solutions for a wide range of application domains. For example, there's Omniverse, which enables real-time simulations and collaborative workflows for 3D production pipelines. Isaac, for robots with AI-powered perception, navigation, and manipulation capabilities. Clara, for healthcare and life sciences developers working on medical imaging and genomics. Jarvis for multimodal, real-time conversational AI services, Merlin for building large-scale recommender systems, and the Triton Inference Server for deployment of AI models at scale across cloud, data center, and embedded platforms. Over the last year, we've released over 50 new SDKs, and because we are constantly innovating and updating these solutions, millions of developers can take advantage of state-of-the-art capabilities in their own applications. The variety and complexity of software development environments for training and deploying deep neural networks can be daunting due to dependencies and version-specific compatibility issues between a large number of components. That's why the NVIDIA NGC catalog provides engineers, data scientists, and researchers with an easy way to set up complex software environments through containers that are maintained by NVIDIA and our partners. The containers are performance optimized, thoroughly tested, and certified for all the leading deep learning frameworks and many high performance computing applications. So you can have confidence you're taking full advantage of NVIDIA GPU acceleration. The pre-trained models can fast track your projects by significantly reducing training times as well as dataset requirements. And if you need to refine them using your own data, NGC offers well-defined workflows using the NVIDIA Transfer Learning Toolkit. The application frameworks we discussed earlier are also conveniently available via the NGC catalog allowing you to further reduce your development time for a wide range of application domains. NGC also provides well-defined collections for computer vision and other application domains that make it easy to get all the pre-trained models, tools, and resources your project will need all in one place. And the Helm charts make it easy to reliably and consistently deploy your containerized applications at scale using Kubernetes. Using software from the NGC catalog, you can get your environment set up in minutes and have confidence that the same environment will be used for both development and deployment, whether you are using an on-premise data center, cloud service provider, or hybrid of both, or embedded platforms at the edge. As AI is increasingly deployed at scale in factories, stores, city streets, and healthcare facilities, many organizations need the ability to securely deploy and manage complex software solutions across thousands of IoT sensors, edge systems, and servers in their data centers. NVIDIA EGX addresses this need with its cloud-native, edge-first, scalable software stack which includes support for NGC containers and Kubernetes-ready Helm charts that make it easy to build custom solutions and deploy powerful AI software at scale. EGX enables IT organizations to quickly and easily provision GPU servers in standardized configurations and automate the deployment of all the necessary components for provisioning large-scale GPU-accelerated solutions. There are a wide range of GPU accelerated platforms you can use to accelerate deep learning training and inference workloads. Many laptops and workstations have powerful NVIDIA GPUs and work well for deep learning application development, including the DGX Station, 
which is powered by four A100 GPUs and runs whisper quiet next to your desk. When you're ready to scale up your training of deep neural network models, GPU accelerated servers are available from every major OEM and cloud service provider. The fastest systems have multiple A100 GPUs connected via NVLink to deliver strong scaling for deep learning, training, and inference workloads, as well as high performance computing applications. If you want a fully integrated solution, we often recommend solutions based on the DGX pod reference architecture for data centers, which incorporates best practices for compute, networking, storage, power, cooling, and more. For scale out inference workloads, servers with T4 GPUs and Tensor Core technology deliver power efficient, low latency performance that is up to 40 times faster than CPU only solutions. As you would expect, NGC containers and EGX management can be used across all of these environments. So you have a seamless deployment path to production in the cloud or your own data center, as well as edge devices. And of course, if you need to deploy deep learning applications on embedded platforms, NVIDIA offers the Drive platform for autonomous vehicles and Jetson platforms for robotics and other applications. So in summary, to address the challenges many organizations encounter, NVIDIA provides a world-class developer program with an active community of like-minded engineers, data scientists, researchers, and IT professionals worldwide training and tools for a new generation of developers and data scientists via practical hands-on training from the Deep Learning Institute, our global series of GPU technology conferences, and easy to use deep learning workflow tools. Built-in support for GPU acceleration in all the major open source deep learning frameworks and hundreds of SDKs and application frameworks, which are frequently updated with new and optimized algorithms. Convenient ways to quickly set up and standardize your development and deployment environments using NGC Catalog on high performance platforms in the cloud, data center, and workstation environments. And a wide range of development and deployment platforms with software and hardware optimized for deep learning inference in the cloud and data center, as well as automotive and other embedded applications. Now that you're ready to get started applying deep learning in your own projects, the first step is always to get clarity on exactly what is the problem you need to solve. Consider whether the expected results of this project are worth the effort in terms of market opportunity, benefit to humanity, or other factors, and whether there might be an easier way to accomplish the same results. If you decide to apply deep learning, you'll need to determine which AI tasks are involved could be detection, classification, segmentation, prediction, recommendation, etc., or a sequence of several tasks that implement a more complex workflow, like speech-to-text, followed by text-to-text -text translation, and finally text-to-speech to implement a conversational translation service. As part of this, be sure to assess what level of accuracy is required for success, including fault tolerance since every statistical method fails in some situations. You'll realize quickly that the accuracy requirements for an autonomous vehicle that will drive millions of people to work every day are very different than a music recommendation service. As the famous statistician George Box once said, all models are wrong, but some are useful. So think in terms of guardrails and heuristics that will allow your application to know when something has gone wrong. Basically, all the standard good programming practices that your application should be doing with or without deep learning. So keep in mind that while it may seem like magic, it's really just math. The next step is to assemble the data set you will use to train the deep neural network. You may already have the data you need standing by and ready to be used, or you may need to invest some effort in collecting and labeling enough examples to create a representative data set. There are some really great open source and commercial data sets available online, but if you can't find what you need, you may need to apply some creativity and generate it yourself. 
Deciding which framework and tools to use depends on a number of factors, including whether you prefer a graphical workflow, a command line interface, or a programming language interface, and which programming language you want to use. When you're first getting started, it's a good idea to try some small projects with different frameworks to evaluate which one you really want to learn well. Similarly, there are several factors that will influence which GPU platforms you use to train and deploy your deep neural networks. These include important considerations such as where you have convenient access to high-performance computing resources and where your data is stored, since moving large amounts of data can take a long time. The good news is that all of the leading deep learning frameworks have built-in support for GPU acceleration and all the major server vendors and cloud service providers offer GPU accelerated servers. So you have the flexibility to choose a solution that meets your needs with confidence that you will have access to the parallel computing horsepower required by deep learning. So what's next? Join our free developer program to get access to all the latest resources and connect with our online community. Learn more about deep learning and other technologies through tutorials, sample code, and ecosystem updates in our developer blog. Practice building your own deep learning applications with the Deep Learning Institute. Listen to leading researchers, industry experts, and startup founders describe their work in the NVIDIA AI podcast. And of course, join us for GTC conferences and events. Thank you for joining me for this introduction to deep learning today. I hope you'll take advantage of all the great presentations, hands-on training, and opportunities to connect with experts during our GTC online event this week.